welcome home. All right, so I'm going to be completely honest with you. This information is a little bit old. It's almost a week old, but it seems like a lot of people commenting here on my channel don't seem to be aware of this post. So I wanted to cover it for anyone that doesn't know about the upcoming features and fixes for Fallout 76. It comes from an article straight from Bethesda themselves. So I want to go ahead and run through this here on my channel. So on November 16th, Bethesda posted on Bethesda.net the following article. Fallout 76, upcoming features and fixes, November 2018. Since Vault 76 opened to the world in beta and official launch, we've loved reading about your adventures and seeing your incredible photos from all over Appalachia. With launch day behind us, we're now looking toward the immediate future for Fallout 76 and what that means for both the short and long term. Before we get to new content and other additions, we want you to know that we have seen your feedback, taken notes of issues, and value the time you have taken to provide your thoughts and report problems. Now the next section goes into the heads up for the update that came on November 9th. And they did give us a heads up that it wasn't going to include some of the big quality of life adjustments for Fallout 76 that we're all wanting. And they gave us a heads up on that, but some people didn't know about this, so they were very frustrated when the update came out and didn't include that. So I'm going to go ahead and read that now. Just keep in mind, this was before the update came out. So first and foremost, we have our first patch coming Monday, November 19th, which has now been released. And while this update has many performance fixes and optimizations in it, we know some of your biggest requests, including an increased stash limit and several PC quality of life adjustments, are not included in this update. These features are coming in the next several weeks. Our plan is to update the game on a regular basis with patch notes that detail what we are addressing with each update. If that changes, we'll let folks know as things may shift as we need to balance adding features with server stability and maintenance. Following our post on Reddit, here's the latest on where we are with our next updates. Upcoming fixes before the end of the year. November 19th patch. The next update will focus primarily on game performance and stability on all platforms, but will also come with a list of fixes to quests, UI, camps, and more. Patch notes will be available early next week, so if you want to check out that video, it will be linked at the top right of this video. They did give us a heads up that this update will be large compared to what we expect for patches going forward. Regular updates will always vary in size, but future updates should be much smaller in comparison, which is really good news. Because that update on Xbox One was about 45 gigabytes, about 15 gigabytes on PC, and PS4 I believe was about 25 gigabytes. Next, they touched on the stash limit increase. We hear you loud and clear. We will be increasing the stash limit in the coming weeks. The current limit is there for technical reasons, to cap the number of items the game is tracking in the world, including every container and stash. We believe we have some ideas in both the short and long term that will address the size without risking stability, but this is one we need to take our time on to make sure it is done right. Push to talk for PC. After listening to all of your concerns, we have made progress on getting this into the game, and it will also be included in an update in the next few weeks. That is great to hear. We really need to push the talk button on PC. As much as I love talking to random people in Fallout 76, sometimes you just you don't want to hear people's heavy breathing, you don't want to hear them eating, you don't want to hear their conversations with other people. There's just some things that you don't want to be on the microphone because it actually takes away from the immersion. It doesn't add to it. So I'm really glad to see that the push to talk is coming within the next few weeks. Ultra wide support for PC. 21 by 9 support will be coming soon. We have seen it in testing and it looks awesome. So it's it's great to hear that ultra wide support is coming to Fallout 76. Now they also touched on the FOV slider for PC. This is something that they were against doing in their previous Reddit post. It seems like they're up to doing an FOV slider now. This is what they had to say. We know this is a popular request for our PC players. Look for an FOV slider soon. So what soon means for them, we don't quite know, but we do know that most of these updates should be coming before the end of the year. So they should be coming no later than December. Now, looking ahead to 2019, we teased in our launch letter some of what's to come next. In addition to constantly making fixes and changes, there will be new content and game systems that add to the life and experiences in Appalachia. We'll see new vaults opening, new ways to easily improve your camps, ways to create, team up, and faction-based PvP, and many more free add-ons we haven't talked about yet. In addition, you will see articles each week that highlight new events, content, and features we're excited to share. We look forward to growing Fallout 76, 
with you. So I wanted to share that with all of you because a lot of people were expecting the stash limit increase, push to talk, ultra wide, and FOV all to be added within the November 19th patch, which was not the case. They never said that was going to happen. In fact, they told us ahead of time a couple days before that they weren't going to include those in that update. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up that all of these updates should be coming before the end of this year. So that's just a little longer than a month wait, which I've got to say is actually shorter than I was expecting. I'm glad that they changed their mind on the FOV slider. I'm glad that they're bringing ultra wide supports. I'm glad that they're bringing push to talk. And I'm glad that they're open to increasing the stash limit size, even though it does come with some risk for stability. It is a really frustrating part of Fallout 76. So let me know your thoughts on this post from Bethesda down in the comment section below. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please smack that like button down below. Subscribe to join the good fight if you haven't already. And ring the bell icon to stay updated on all of my future videos. It would be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy. Signing off.